right, this morning I am going to make um, some homemade biscuits and gravy. It was a request by one of Scott's YouTube uh, followers. So first we're going to start out with a cup of non-dairy milk. And then we need to add to that two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And that's going to need to sit about five to ten minutes. We're going to keep, kind of keep an eye on it. Um, and this is going to make buttermilk for us. Usually grab a fork, let it mix up, and we'll set it aside then. Okay, kind of go through and explain what else is in here for the biscuits. Um, you will set the oven at 450. Um, I'm going to wait a few minutes to start that up, but for this, you need two cups of all-purpose flour. Uh, here we have four teaspoons of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of baking soda and then about three quarters of a teaspoon of salt and we should mix that up a little bit. Um, combine that just so we know it's all mixed real good before we add anything else to it. You can look over here what this is starting to do. Um, we're also for this, which I'm not going to add it quite yet, I'm going to let this sit for a couple more minutes, um, we're going to need two tablespoons of any kind of vegan plant-based butter and then two tablespoons of uh, Crisco. Okay, we're gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna scoop in two tablespoons of the butter. You can look at it here, and the sides actually have by tablespoon, so you'll all just need to cut it. Right here, open. with our hands and you just kind of just want to keep squeezing to kind of incorporate the butter and the Crisco in there. It will start to get a little bit crumbly as you're doing that. Now that has started to crumble. Go ahead and mix this just a little bit. And I'm going to start pouring this in and mix in a little at a time. This will be a little bit of a wet um, dough while you're doing this part of it. but you will put some flour down on your countertop. When you go to roll it out. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle some flour on the counter here. This dough is a little wet, but it's gonna pick up some of this other flour. dough and all that it's really going to depend on the wetness and stuff sometimes you have to add a little bit more flour in while you're mixing or a little bit water to it it really depends on your humidity the temperature everything like that um, 
This is a little wetter than usual, so I am going to sprinkle some flour on it and I'm just going to work it in. You don't want to overwork the dough. Let's see, it's really sticking to my fingers. I'm going to use a rolling pin for it. I'm just going to use my hands here. Probably wanted to get it about an inch or so thick. I usually use like a cookie cutter for this, but I don't have a cookie cutter here with me. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it like I did the pierogies and use a cup for that. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut out the biscuits. Looks like I can only get three the way I've got this sitting here. These are a little bit bigger than what I usually would do. I'm going to go ahead and spray. I just have an olive oil spray. And I'm going to go ahead and spray just a tiny bit on the pan here. on here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and work this back in together. Should be able to get six out of this, but we'll have to see here with this bigger size if I'm going to get six. And then I'm just gonna kind of make it into a circle. And then once the oven is up to temperature, we're just gonna put those in there. And it's gonna be a 15 to 20 minutes it should take. Okay, I'm gonna start the sausage gravy part of this while the biscuits are in the oven. I've got my pan heating up. Uh, we are going to use, I have this, it's Light Life, uh, it's a plant-based sausage, it's 14 ounces, so I will be using that. Um, for the gravy part of it, I have a quarter uh, cup of all-purpose flour in here, and I'm going to mix it with two cups of non-dairy milk. You want to make it sure it's unsweetened, that, you, that there's no flavor to it, you don't want a vanilla flavor in this. Gonna whisk this up and then let it sit. My pan should be hot now, so I'm gonna grab a little bit of oil and drizzle it in here. And we're just gonna go ahead and right on in here and we're just going to cook it up. Sausage is getting nice and browned up another minute or two and we'll be able to add in the milk flour mixture. Okay, this is browned up good for me now. So this up real quick again. You want to make sure it's mixed up pretty good otherwise you're going to get lumps in there. Add this in. Just be careful you don't burn yourself with the steam coming off of there. Just going to keep stirring this. Let it cook. It will start to thicken then as it's cooking up. 
right. It's only been a couple minutes. It is, you see, it's starting, it's thickened up. Um, if for some reason it ends up being too thick for you, just uh, add a little bit of milk at a time. Now we're just going to salt and pepper it to taste. And just mix it up. And just keeping an eye on the biscuits. They've already been in there about 15 and a half minutes and they look like they're about done. So I'm going to go ahead and just turn this on low so it just keeps it warm for me until we're ready to eat it with the biscuits. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take these out of here. gravy over the top of it. There you go.